Two years have passed since the alleged attack on a first-year student in this stately fraternity house on UVA's Greek Row. It's November 2014, and just days before students head out for Thanksgiving, they're blindsided by an incendiary 9,000-word expose in Rolling Stone titled, A Rape on Campus. I remember that morning I woke up and I remember reading on social media, there's this article that's come out, bombshell article, you have to read it. A Rolling Stone article. Out of that scandal rocking the University of Virginia. The timing couldn't be worse. The school, seemingly cursed, reeling from the high-profile murders of student athlete Yardley Love. The University of Virginia student murdered by her former boyfriend. And that same fall, the disappearance and murder of co-ed Hannah Graham. Searchers in Virginia stumbled across what they now believe are Graham's remains. It's not the usual kind of atmosphere on campus. There was something amiss. Now the explosive Rolling Stone story, but this account sounds even worse more lurid and dramatic than the version her friends recall hearing. Jackie's date takes her to a raucous frat party at Phi Kappa Psi. She takes his hand as he ushers her into a bedroom. The door closes behind them, the room pitch black inside. A body barrels into her, tripping her backward, crashing through a low glass table. She hears someone say, grab its expletive leg, and that's when Jackie knows she is going to be raped. Three hours of sheer agony, as she says seven men took turns raping her. Jackie runs shoeless out of the frat house, face beaten, her red dress spattered with blood. She runs into the arms of three friends, but instead of going to the police, there's a heated debate. One friend warning she's going to be the girl who cried rape and will never be allowed into any frat party again. While the article contains rich detail about the night in question, the reporter says Jackie declined to identify her attackers by name. The journalist who broke the story for Rolling Stone, Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina Rubin Erdely. The Rolling Stone reporter, Sabrina Rubin Erdely, becomes a rock star in her own right, a seasoned journalist with numerous sexual assault stories to her portfolio. I met a young woman named Jackie. She, she becomes a sought-after talk show guest, hammering the UVA administration for what she says was indifference to Jackie's claims. She um, went to the administration and told them that she had been gang raped, and the administration did nothing about it. In fact, in the article, Jackie claims she told the administration about two other rape allegations at that same fraternity, but says no action was taken. Not only was there no investigation, but the campus also, the administration apparently decided that um, there was no reason to warn the rest of the campus that there had been right. multiple allegations of gang rape <sighs> against a fraternity that continued to hold parties every weekend. And another lightning strike in the article? Jackie once asked Associate Dean of Students Nicola Ramo why UVA's rape stats were hard to find. She says the dean answered, because nobody wants to send their daughter to the rape school. It was my sense that the University of Virginia was just stonewalling and not allowing Jackie to get help. If Jackie sounded credible to anyone, it was this woman. My attack happened five weeks into my college career. I was 17. Liz the Cura was another young freshman when she says she was gang raped at the same Phi Kappa Psi house at UVA in 1984. I just remember this young man you know, I was clearly impaired, locked me in a room and cut the lights. You were screaming. I was screaming, and I thought, I'm going to die here. But Securo survived and ultimately turned in her attacker. William Beebe pleaded guilty to aggravated sexual battery, making her a hero to sex assault survivors. You wrote a memoir about your experience. How well known is the Liz Sakura story on campus? My book is in the library, it's in the Women's Center. There was a book tour, it was national, so it's very well known. So Liz Sakura was only too willing to participate in that Rolling Stone article, concerned that history was possibly repeating itself. You were obviously struck by the similarities of Jackie's story to your story. How so? What specifically? Well, the house, first of all, and I think, I think Sabrina probably thought, oh my God, is this some sort of sick tradition? Know who else was wondering? The federal government. One of the reasons Rolling Stone was interested in UVA is because at that time, it was one of 85 schools under investigation for allegedly mishandling sexual assault complaints. 
UVA was not providing prompt or equitable responses to sexual assault victims who chose to report. When the article comes, there is a torrent of reaction. Shock, not just at Jackie's horrific attack, but also at the way the university handled her case. Dina Ramo, the public face of the scandal, becomes public enemy number one. As protesters replace partygoers on UVA's Greek Row. What do we want? An Phi Kappa Psi House is defaced, a brick thrown through its window. UVA Center for Rape Studies spray painted across its exterior. I stand with Jackie hashtags trend nationwide. UVA President Teresa Sullivan holds a press conference. We have a problem and we're going to get after it. Suspending Greek life and calling for Charlottesville police to investigate the heinous crime. It was something I had to struggle with. Did we know this? <laughs> Did anyone tell us this? Is this the first we're finding out by reading a magazine? Really?